Things started for me at age 17 when my family decided to move from Lebanon to America. <laughs> I, was, I was 17. Uh, two years later, I decided to go find me a job, make some money, and get some experience. So I go out one day, and I come back home, and I tell my dad, Dad, I got a job as a, as a marketing executive with an international marketing company. My dad looks back at me. He goes, okay, son, what are you going to be selling? I look back. I said, knives, kitchen knives. He said, couldn't you find something else? <laughs> Some of my friends would make fun of me during summer, would say, oh, uh, you look sharp today. <laughs> From my humble beginning, I realized that I wasn't the best salesperson, and I actually was a little bit frustrated with my sales result. Anybody here felt frustrated before with the business that you're in? Okay, good. You know, uh, and, and I, I did a little bit of research. I was 19, and I found out that frustration comes from knowing I can do more, and, and I wasn't. And when, and when that, when that um, thought came to me, I said, well, I must do something, and I did. I did what I thought was the, the, the idea that changed my life. I went out there and I spoke with the number one salesperson in the direct sales business I was in and I asked her, could you tell me your secret? And she said, absolutely. She goes, Ramos, you got to do three things, Ramos. I was like, what? Tell me, I'll take some notes. She goes, Ramos, number one is you got to read the books on sales. There was a deep voice inside of me saying, oh, I don't like reading. What's number two? <laughs> she goes, Raymond, number two is you got to listen to audio programs in your car. Here I had to say something. I said, Melissa, I'm 19 years of age. I listen to cool music in my car. I don't listen to people talking in my car. And then I said, well, so what's number three? She goes, Raymond, uh, you got to invest in yourself and you got to go to the summer conference coming up. Similar to what you have invested in coming here today. I asked her, Melissa, I asked you how I can make money, not spend money. And she said to me a sentence that also opened my eyes to the opportunity of personal development. She said, Ramis, there is a very famous guy by the name of Benjamin Franklin. And he said many years ago, take whatever coins you got in your pocket and invest them in your mind because your mind will fill your pockets with gold. <laughs> 